Alright, let's try installing Office 2007 Pro with Winetrix Alpha. Makes a fresh wine directory. Okay, let's modify the default wine prefix. Install other software. Scroll down to Office 2007 Pro. Click OK. Uh, it's going to use native richhead, fine. It wants the disk, so let's insert that. Ubuntu's GNOME will automatically mount it for me. When it's mounted, I will click OK. It's now starting the installer. This is going to take five or six minutes, I think. Okay, don't watch while I type in the key. All right, thank you for not watching while I typed in the key. Uh, license terms. Goodness, this is a lot of legalese. Uh, I think it says that I can use this software, but I'm not quite sure. Well, let's hope. Continue. Install now. I think we'll cut to the chase. Because you don't want to watch this whole thing install. the progress bar getting all the way isn't quite a guarantee that it's done. And it takes another minute. Hey, it's done. Alright, so let's close the installer and get out of Wine Tricks and let's try running it. Applications, Wine, Programs, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word. Sure, those are my initials. Um, all right, I don't want to activate just now. I don't want help. I don't want updates. I just want to type. This is my first Word doc. And let's make that nice and uh, bold and underlined and big. And what the heck, um, it's kind of tempting to change the font too, can we? Oh, look at that, lots of fonts. Britannica bold, sure, why not? Okay, so let's save that. We will call it first word and we're going to save it as type Word 97 2003 document so that other apps can read it. And close that. And let's see if we can find it in our home folder. There it is. Let's see what happens when we double click on it. It opens OpenOffice. OpenOffice can read it. And let's see if it can make a compatible change. This line was added by oh, 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 and let's make that line be in a completely different font, say Comic Sans, and let's make it be uh, not underlined, but italic. Okay, save that. Yeah, yeah, yeah and close out of open office and let's see if we can load it again in word is there a choice here oh there is let's see what happens hey it worked and no i still don't want to activate um okay so this concludes our tutorial thanks for watching